Okay, so I'm going to show us how to make a business card really fast. Um, this is the front of the card, and this is the back of the card. It has a QR code and has a logo on it affiliated with what the QR code is going to. In this particular case, it goes to the website that I use for studentportfoliony.com to teach graphic and web design. So here's the front, here's the back. Now let's look at a couple of examples. Here's the, um, when you go to studentportfoliony.com, these are examples of other business cards that people have created. A lot of them I have created, and now you can use all of your knowledge, previous skills, with logo design, and uh, with text, and the character box, and you're going to create a business card. So, let's start. <coughs> First thing you need to do, excuse me, sorry is organize the uh, document. So, first thing you do is you're going to go to, let me first of all get rid of this stuff. Give me a second. Alright, so we'll set up the document right now. To set up the document, you go to File, New. You're going to make sure that it is inches. Uh, business card is three inches wide and it is two inches high. You want to make sure that resolution is high at 300 dpi and make sure that the color mode is CMYK color cyan, magenta, yellow, and crimson, okay? Um, regular RGB is for internet, but for business cards, you want it to be the process colors for printing. And you're going to hit create. This is one. I'm going to go to file, save as. I'm going to save this on my computer. I'm going to go straight to my desktop. On my desktop, I made a folder called business card right here in the business card folder. I will call this business card front this is going to be a PSD file I will call I will save it now I'm going to keep the same exact I'm going to make another file I'm going to go to file open excuse me I'm going to go to file new after you go to file new you're going to make sure it goes to inches you guessed it it is three inches wide and it is two inches high 300 dpi, good, create. Now I have a second document. I'm going to go to File, Save As, and yes, this one is going to be on the computer. It's going to be called Business Card Back. You're going to make a front and a back of a card. So this will be called Back. There you have it, and we'll hit Save. There, so we have the front of the card and the back of the card. Let's start designing the front. I created a logo already, all right? So also, I have a background image that pertains to Business, uh, student portfolio and why you want graphics that are similar to what your theme is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all I'm going to go to edit copy I'm going to go into my business card I'm going to go to edit paste I'm going to stretch this a little bit and I'm going to make this down um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it covers the whole front of the card I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit and now I can see that I have the background for my business card now, which uh, has a little blimp, which is a logo that I used. All right, I'll shrink this down a little bit more so we can see the Brooklyn Bridge. I'm looking good. I am also going to duplicate this layer. None of this that I'm showing you is anything that you have not been exposed to before. So now, um, this is the active layer here. I want to put stuff over this, so I'm going to get my logo. I have a logo here. Uh, I can hit shift, select both parts of my logo, and go to edit, copy, go into my uh, front of the business card, and we'll go to edit, paste, and now I have pasted in a logo here. I'm going to shrink this logo down a little bit, all right? Now, I want to sneak the logo on the top left corner, and you want to leave a decent amount of room in between here for bleed lines. When you use Adobe Illustrator, there'll be bleed lines here. This is for a Photoshop, just because I'm teaching it in um, Photoshop how to make the business card. All right. First of all, I want to make Mr. Black. I'll highlight it, make him black. Boom. There he goes. Mr. Reese is black now. Now, I'm going to come over to here, and I'm going to just use a soft edge on an eraser. And watch this. I'm just going to kiss the edge a little bit see that and now mr. Reese is very very visible the website the URL when anyone has a place of business or anyone has to an establishment they want to have 
put the website on. Write it in script. Write it in text, rather. Student. And I'll take studentportfoliony.com and I'll put it on the bottom. I think that this text is a bit bold. It's all right, though. I, I, I don't mind it, to be honest with you. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger. Right about there. Now, the text, as you know, you can click on the T for text. And you can change the text to anything that you want. All right? In this case, I actually kind of like... Uh, I like this one right here, also the sample here, anyone that you want. So I got student portfolio and why, you know, it could be bold, big, any way that you'd like it. I'll do it like this one. Well, we'll keep it simple. We'll do it like this, studentportfoliony.com. Now, check this out. I can also go into here and I can back up a little bit, get out. And look at everything and watch click on your eraser tool and make sure that you can now see the bottom even better see now I have student portfolio and why is good you want to put some address information on here now so let's get a little closer moving things around let's put the let's put an email address or first of all let's put a phone number so we'll put 718 whoopsie Stand by, hold on. Why is it doing that? Uh, let's get rid of this. It's glitching out on me here. T for text, boom. Now, let's highlight this. Let's go to 718, period, 123, period, 4567. Now we have a phone number. I want to make a phone number, all this stuff, a little bit smaller than this text over here. So I'm going to make it smaller so I could fit stuff. And now here is the phone number. All right, so that's the phone number. We'll put that at the top. We'll also put, we're going to take this layer and we're going to duplicate it. And now that I've duplicated it, I can move this down a little bit. I'm going to put the address. We'll put number one Happy Street, Brooklyn, New York. All right, just for all intents and purposes. One Happy, Happy Street, enter. Brooklyn and Y one two three four five. All right, now you're gonna notice something. Brooklyn and it's everything is offset. So watch what you do. You highlight this. Remember the character. Go to Window Character. Oopsie. Window Character. And now you do remember how to space things out from the color text portrait. That's too much. Fourteen. Let's go to a ten even too much there let's go to the spacing of an eight eight looks legit and also what we're gonna do is up here we're gonna make it flush left move it one of the things I love about Photoshop now is it gives these margin lines so bam there you go so we got the number and we also have uh, you can make the phone number a little bit bigger if necessary right so it sticks out a little bit more alright and now what you can also do is put an email address I like email addresses, so I'll put email at gmail.com. I'm going to highlight this, though, and I'm going to change the color to what an email color should be, which is kind of like a hyperlink color. And I'll shrink the email down, and I'll put the email right at the bottom, right over there. Boom. So now you have the email. All right, now, look, we need to be able to see this a little bit more legibly. Watch this come back over here and there's a reason that I duplicated that layer so I have a backup in case I really mess up this layer so from here I'll click on the eraser tool and look I'm just kissing the edge a little bit more bam and now I could really still see what I've written a lot better okay so now you have that and last thing you could do is you could put the word graphic design graphic and web design Graphic and web design can go right across the front, right over to here. So you have graphic and web design. Now, if I can't really read that too well, I can make it a darker text. Highlight it. 
come into here and I can go into black even and now I have graphic and web design alright so now you have the front of your business card okay and this is very primitive it's the beginning stages of it you can even highlight this and make it a different font make it that one boom so graphic and web design is bigger now alright graphic and web design and then if you wanted to put the sneak a word under there and script watch this see this word right here you could duplicate it and now you can kind of put this word over here and you can put specialist and then you can shrink specialist a little bit more whoopsie and bam now you have specialist so you have the front of a card so watch this we're gonna go to file save as you're gonna go to uh, business card front and you're gonna save it of course yes it exists save it just so you can edit this raw file ever again then you're gonna go to save as and you're gonna make this a PSD file because that's the printing format that printers want PSDs alright and you're gonna save it as a PSD file inside the business card folder now in the back of the card check this out watch how we do I'm gonna go to the front I'm gonna take my logo I'm gonna go to edit copy I'm gonna go into the back of the card I'm gonna go to edit paste now I have my logo there on the back of the card this is the back but watch how we do I'm gonna put a QR code here and here's exactly how you do that I wanna be able to scan this to go to this particular website right here so watch here's how you do this copy the link you want I've copied it I'm gonna to go to Google and you're gonna type in QR code genera generator QR code QR code generator get a free one I use this one QR code monkey right in here on the URL paste the link in and you can create QR code and look it creates this QR code that goes to any link you want any website you want download the PNG I'm downloading the QR code now and I'm opening up this um the back of my business card now I'm gonna go to file open I'm gonna go into the downloads and there it is there's my QR code I just downloaded it I'm gonna open this up now you can obviously cut away this stuff right here you can you know duplicate this I'm not gonna do this um, completely but you can also edit your QR code delete the background of everything whatever right so what I'm gonna do is being that my background is white I'm gonna leave everything as it is I'm not gonna go too crazy I'm gonna take this QR code though and I'm gonna go to file export export it as a PNG guess where I'm gonna save it you're right in my business card folder as a PNG call it a QR code save I'm gonna go to the back of my business card I'm gonna go to file place embedded place embedded click on my QR code on my desktop and my business card BAM there's my associated files I'm placing it boom shrinking the QR code and putting the QR code right here now look at that you could scan this I promise you it will go to studentportfolio.ny.com and can go to any place of business that you would want and that's it whoopsie and you can move the name the logo any way you'd like and you could put any graphics you want on this business card now alright so you have the back of the card you can move the QR code over here put other stuff over here it's completely malleable last order of business save it file save as you're gonna go to business card back save replace it in the business card area yes and lastly file save as you're gonna save it as a PN uh, PDF business card front this is gonna be business card what back and there you go and you're gonna hit save boom okay save PDF yes last order of business you saved everything now check this out watch this if you go into your business card you can open up this one the back of the card and you can look at it there's the back and then you can open up the front and there you have it
back and front of your business card.